Sean, finals football again. I think you must love this time, this time of year. Yeah, it is. It's, it's definitely exciting. I think back in February when we started, it's, this seems a million miles away, but the focus even back there is, is getting to playoffs and, and getting to a grand final. And you, there's, there's an opportunity now for us to do that, as, as with the other five teams as well. But it's, yeah, it definitely, it definitely starts to get a little bit more intense and a little bit more exciting at this point. It's been some turnaround for you guys as well. I mean, really, seems to get to kind of the end of May and June, and in typical Wigan fashion, just picked picked it up, and now you form team, really. Yeah, uh, I think you don't you don't try to set out and, and do that. I think we wanted to be winning games at the start of the season, but um, there was there was always a confidence or a belief that we would find some form. Um, you probably you probably at one one point looked like first, second, probably even third was going to be a little bit out of our. Uh, our grasp, but I think the way we, the, when we did start getting wins, the way we kicked on from that, and found some form, and probably other, other results going our way as well a little bit. Um, remember, we've been rewarded now with a second spot, so it's, it's, um, yeah, it has been a bit of a turnaround season for us. And up against the other form team in the uh, competition as well in, in Salford, should be some game there, shouldn't it? Yeah, I think probably the last eight weeks, ten weeks, we've had kind of similar paths, both outside the five at the start of it, and then finding form and, and climbing, climbing the ladder pretty pretty quickly once we did do that. So, yeah, I think Friday's kind of got the makings of two sides that have been playing well coming together. And obviously we've been rewarded with our second spot in that home game, which should be valuable for us. But we still know so far are going to be coming there as the same good form, but playing some good rugby as well. And it's a slightly different route into the uh, into the grand final for the playoffs this year with the new system. Does the fact that you've got that second chance help, or would you almost rather just be in a straight knockout situation? Um, well, it'll, it'll help if we lose, but I don't think there's anyone kind of going in with the, the thought of there being a second chance. Um, you, you're coming in on back of good form, you want to keep good form, hopefully going into the grand final. So that's that's just about winning, winning every game that's put in front of you. Um, if the worst, if, if for us we do lose a game, then yeah. We we'll work hard at that second chance and gain a win, but uh, as we're thinking now, it's about getting the win from this Friday and, and then kicking on from that. And you know, on a personal level, you, you've you've been here and done it. You're probably one of the eldest statesmen in that team now. Is it? Are you conscious that there might be too many chances left, or are you trying to put all the personal stuff to one side? Um, no, I think you always. I think whenever you whenever you get to a grand final, you try and not take it for granted. Um, I think I learned that as quite a young age not to take take these opportunities too much for granted and I think these last few years we've, we've kind of we've been involved with quite a few um, but I think the hunger to get there and win them and get your hands on that trophy that's still there whether, whether it's lads who have been there and done it or it's, it's lads that are chasing the first opportunity to do it uh, there's definitely a, always a sense of hunger to, to, to get out there and get the job done and obviously you know, a big chunk of this group did get the job done last year that would be a valuable experience won't it? Yeah, yeah it will be there's um, kind of similar paths to the season a little bit as well um, where we found our form at the back end of the season and, and picked some good good results up in the playoffs so there's, there's, there is some experience there from the rest of the boys but I think even the lads who haven't had a taste of playoff football yet I think they bring a different kind of hunger to the team They're, it's their first opportunity to do something and um, even though they've not got the amount of their experience they're still going to bring something to the team Awesome. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank Good you. Luck.